Hi guys, so I am literally about to leave to go and get my stomach procedure done. I am... I have lipstick on my teeth. I am so... Uh, like, a combination of excited but nervous. I, I have not, like, thought about the process of it at all, really. I've looked into it for so long that I guess I just, like... When I decided I was going to do it, I'm just like, yep, book it, let's go. And it wasn't until before when I was trying to decide what to wear. And I was like, because you can't have anything, like, rubbing or, like, you know, tight on your stomach after afterwards. So it wasn't until I started thinking about what I was going to wear. And then I was like, oh, my God, it's going to be sore. Oh, my God. And I started to freak out a little bit. But I decided to wear a dress just so that I can, like, lift it up and pull it back down. Um, I'm also getting like a BBL treatment while I'm there, which is just a like fat cavitation and booty thing, which I have had one appointment before and this is my second one. So I just decided against, this, uh, I decided to wear this dress um, so that I could, you know, just lift it up and not feel super exposed because I feel really vulnerable at the same time. Like this is such a big deal for me. I have Oh, I wanted to do this for so long and I like I think I've just gotten to a place I'm three years nearly post having Dallas and I've lost weight and I've gotten to a place where I'm pretty happy with my size so I thought it was the right time to do it um, I picked the wrong day it is like 32 degrees outside so that is not gonna be fun but um, yeah I will vlog the whole thing and hopefully you guys like the video so I literally just got here and I still have like 10 minutes left to this appointment um, I stopped to get Maccas and they were really busy and there was a bunch of like 12 year olds working and I asked for no pickles and they gave me like 20 pickles. I think they were just being sarcastic and gave me 20 fucking pickles. I'm not even kidding. Anyway, this is probably not the greatest thing to eat before but whatever. Well, Jesus fucking Christ, I just got, <laughs> I feel like I look like the biggest hot mess. I think I've sweated off everything on my face. I look atrocious. I'm not going to lie. That definitely took me by surprise. I was not expecting it to hurt like that. And honestly, when I say hurt, it wasn't that horrific. It's bearable, but... The part that fucked me up the most is when someone's hurting you, like, I guess, like a tattoo, um, and you have no control over the pain, it's like, firstly, your stomach is a very sensitive place. So, you know, when she was doing it, I was flinching, like, like not even flinching, like your body spasms without your control. Mine did anyway. And I, like, my legs would just, like, jump, like, when she was doing, like, the sides, which was, like, the really, really painful parts. Um, and she sort of explained that, um, depending on how much stretch mark and skin there are, some of it can be, like, less painful, um, depending on, like, the stretch marks, because obviously that's, like, torn skin or whatever. So, some areas were, like, super painful, and some of it was just completely fine. Um, and the areas that were painful, my body would, like, tense up and then, like, flinch. And she said it was super normal, and, like, heaps of people 
like she expects that from everyone but i just felt like the biggest idiot i was just like i'm so sorry and every time she was like holding this fucking pen and i'm like bouncing kicking her i'm like i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i felt so silly but anyway i will show you when i get home because i am like i don't even know i'm like completely bandaged up right now with stuff on me so wowie i'm glad i did it i've taken some videos but i'm telling you right now i probably didn't vlog as much as i should have because i was just <laughs> sweating like a pig and oh my god flinching but i have to go back in four weeks because there is one side of my stomach has deeper scars and like stretch marks from being pregnant than the other um she said when like the baby favors one side and they stretch more and things like that so um one side has like deeper like scarring so or deeper stretch marks and loose skin so um also because towards the end becomes a little bit like unbearable she's like you know doing it a bit faster because i'm in a little bit of discomfort a fucking lot of discomfort um <laughs> And so she wants to go over and just like touch up one side which she thinks like needs it anyway So anyway, nonetheless, I am happy. I did it. I just Oh my god, I'm still so hot. Anyway, I'm need a fucking vodka. So that's what I'm gonna go do, right? <laughs> Good morning. It is the morning after my procedure um, I will show you guys what it looks like. I'm definitely sore-ish um, more like the sensation is more like a really bad sunburn so um i have really actually just got a bad sunburn last week so it literally just feels like that um but it's like tender to touch but not like not super painful um and it's very 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 red it looks atrocious it's still very swollen it makes me very nervous to know what it looks like um but i'll show you guys so i don't know if you can really see it's really hard to show you guys when I don't have anyone to help me um but yeah so it's like really red really swollen it's like it looks almost worse right now than it normally does can can you even see that like I don't know but anyway um Obviously, this is like a 12-week process. It's um, something that, yeah, is going to take time. So it's um, definitely something that you have to be patient with because, I mean, myself, I'm the world's most impatient person and I am very, like, I want to see results now. I want to, you know, I want to know what it's going to look like. And I already had, like, a moment of panic this morning when I said to Ty... Oh my god, I don't think it's going to do much. Like, I don't think this is going to have a great effect on me. But then I started Googling and I saw other people's pictures of, like, their immediate afters and what it looked like before. And I'm like, theirs look like, already looks good. But it is really swollen and it does need to take time. And I don't know if I mentioned last night, but um, the lady that did it actually told me I need to come back in four weeks. I think I did mention it, but I have to go back to get one side done, which is this side because this side was more like I don't know I had more so um yeah I guess I have to just be patient and wait for that because that may make an even greater effect once I have it done the second time but yeah anyway I am hoping to see some results she said it'll take 10 days for the dots to go down um or like for the scabbing so she said it'll take about 10 days to heal um and in that time i'm not allowed to get any soapy water on it it is allowed to get wet but more just like water and that is it um no restrictive clothing which i made that mistake of putting on some like loose tights today but once i put my ointment on that i have on it right now um i pulled my like the tights off my stomach and I could feel it like ripping so I was like that's not going to be good for the scabbing so definitely just like loose clothing I'm literally just walking around in this at the moment um but my stomach is usually like quite defined and flat I'm feeling a bit like bloated this morning so I definitely don't look great um and then obviously this is looking so swollen my stomach just looks like this pudgy like tummy like I'll put photos of my stomach yesterday it was just, like really flat and 
lean looking other than that area so you can see that like that's the kind of effect that it's got but I need to drink lots and lots of water today also my BBL treatment which I haven't really spoken about because it was just something that I sort of on the whim did when I went to my appointment last week um the BBL is fat cavitation um and the BBL treatment I actually didn't get the fat cavitation done yesterday but I did last week um so I have like on my butt obviously I've got cellulite and I don't know if many of you know but like there's a thing called a banana roll and I'm going to show you guys because I've showed you the worst of everything so why not excuse me um so this side my butt cheek doesn't have it but this side under like the crease see there's like a little sort of I don't really know how to explain it anyway um so it's like just fat that like women get it it's just like a deposit of fat and it can be you know sort of lifted a bit when you're training and whatever but it's quite um like predominantly it will stay there so anyway the fat cavitation um and the that bbl treatment it is designed like with waves and um sorry my phone is ringing um to like it's designed to liquefy your fat so it um basically <laughs> I can't do, are you okay I feel like I'm having a stroke um so basically they use this like machine and google it it's quite I'm in the middle of working by the way so I'm quite distracted so we are day two of um excuse me post my oh, <laughs> plasma treatment um I don't really feel like it looks any different at the moment, but I guess we'll just see. Um, obviously, like all the dots on it make it a bit like hard to tell, but I mean, if anything, it might have like softened the lines that were more around here, but I feel like this area is still pretty similar at the moment, so we will see. Can you see it? Can you? Get your mask. Yeah, you can see it there. I need to get your mask yeah, out. Right. So I just thought I would do day three update. Um, the stomach, you can't really see, it's the worst lighting, it's so late. Um, this is slowly starting to heal. Um, you can see that um, if, when I put my before and after photos up the more predominant lines that were originally here so down here there was one up here obviously the sides there are still there definitely subsided but still there um but the ones that were like down here and around there have definitely like softened so they're definitely not as wrinkly and as bad um healing process i'm still putting on ointment every morning and every night just showering with cold water and no um, soaps or anything like that. It's starting to scab up now, as you can see. They're like really starting to scab up. They're really, 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 really itchy. So I've been like scratching like mad, like not hard, but just like <laughs> doing this. Um, I've eaten a lot of food this weekend, so I'm super bloated. But yes, yeah, definitely starting to heal a bit better. Um, I mean, it looks better in this lighting than it does in the, the other lighting. Okay. So that's like currently what it's like, which I was having like a bit of a panic the other day because I was like, oh, I don't think it's doing anything. So they went like that low. Um, but I was just looking at my before photos and I was like, yeah, wow, this area is going to need to be done again in four weeks and this side. But there is definitely definitely some change there I'm trying to focus sorry but yeah definitely um pretty happy with the results so far can't wait to get it done again though and just like it look a whole lot more better but yeah hi right, guys so I wanted to quickly come on and do day <laughs> day five update so I'm um, quickly I wanted to show you um what where my stretch lines come up to. So, um, I have 
high-waisted pants on and when I would wear high-waisted jeans and things like that could quite often see my stretch marks and especially because it was quite loose they would like kind of jiggle over a little bit um so I just wanted to show that this is where they came up to and when I I can like really hitch up my pants but they quite often slide down and there was always just this really small amount of like stomach that you would see my stretch marks which I don't know if this is but um so I just wanted to show that but this is day five so I probably should have come better prepared for this <laughs> um so this is my stomach today um I'm not really sure if it's doing if it's done a whole lot. I am less bloated today, which makes a big difference because obviously when you're bloated, your stomach sticks out a bit more and it like kind of flattens these lines. And then when my stomach is leaner, it kind of shrivels down a bit more. So it's a good indication for me to see what my stomach will look like when I'm not bloated. So I've been eating a bit better this week so far, and I'm noticing my stomach is flattening out, which is good. Um, I did take a sneak peek a couple of days ago. I haven't looked since because I'm a little bit like apprehensive to look in case I, you know, my results aren't as good as I'd hoped. But I do feel like this area he here and on this side has definitely softened. There was like, it was quite sultanery. I call it like a shriveled sultana in this area, um, which has definitely reduced a little bit. Um, I do think this is going to be my most problematic area. I obviously have to go back in four weeks for another session, which she's going to predominantly focus on this side, plus down here, which is where when I sit, because this is all loose loose skin, like you can see the denseness of this skin versus like I can pick this up. So um, that area is a lot looser. And I think once I have my procedure done the second time, it'll... Um, be a lot better but yeah definitely the finer lines have gone I think the scars will always be there and that's okay I'm fine with that I just wanted that really like saggy look to sort of go um, this obviously I don't think will ever be perfect but I think after another my touch up in four weeks and then in three months time when I go back for my second one I think that will be a lot better by then um, but yeah so that's day five update in terms of how it feels um, I'm feeling fine. There's no pain. It's just itchy now. Like really, I notice in the middle of the night, I'm like scratching it so much, which is so annoying, um, which I shouldn't be doing. And I, I just like try and do this to it because like they're just tiny little stab marks now. Um, and they take about 10 days to fully, um, sort of dry up like a normal scab that you have um, but other than that no pain no discomfort anymore it's just um, yeah really just kind of a little bit annoying that it's like itchy but yeah I will show you in this lighting too because I feel like it sort of shows it differently in here this is more what I sort of see it like um, but yeah so I think I definitely will get really good results after the third or well, I'm getting my touch in four weeks so after the second proper whole lot again but even after the four week one when she touches up on the lower area and here I think I'm gonna see some really good results so so far like look I kind of wanted it to be better but it does take about 12 weeks she said to fully do what it's supposed to do I'm hoping by the 12 week mark it's really settled and looks a lot different but it's never going to be perfect I think it'll look a whole lot better um, even if just those deeper lines are lifted out a little bit um, I don't expect it to ever fully be gone but yeah definitely more for my confidence is just to have it look a lot better and I think that it is I also wanted to quickly add that um, I've had to add some like antibacterial wipe over the top of it these ones here um, just because it has been a bit itchy and some of the spots have been a little bit red and they did say that with bacteria obviously sweating and things like that that some of the little dots can get infected so I have been adding just a little bit of antibacterial wipe to my routine of cleaning it just to stop any bacterial growth and that's definitely dried out the scabs so I've been also putting on some ointment just to kind of soften them because I believe that was the better way of treating the scabs so that they like it's less like no scarring and things like that so 
yeah, um, that can happen during the process if there is a bit of bacteria on the dots, but they aren't an open wound, they're a burn. So it's unlikely, but there was one that was quite itchy, so I did do that. But yeah, I just wanted to put that in there too. Hi guys, so I am exactly a week ago today post having my plasma pen procedure. Um, I'm obviously a lot less bloated than I was at the start of the week, so I'm really starting to see what my stomach looks like. And to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought that I would get a better result. Like I said, this is sort of the outside is probably better, but like this part, I don't know. It's kind of hard again to tell because this is like all dotty and still like slightly red and it's starting to scab now. Like it was so itchy last night that I would just act like they're really hard now, like a normal scab. And I was just scratching the shit out of it in my sleep. But I don't know, I'm just I'm not exactly it's hard to tell, I don't know. But regardless, the fact that it's hard to tell means that the results so far haven't been like mind blowing, which is disappointing because I thought that they would be like, you know, a lot better than they have been. Um, well, a lot better than it is, sorry. Um, I don't know. See, when I stand here in this bathroom, it looks like this area is so much better. It's just this center part here and down here. But when I'm in the other room, it all just looks fucked. So I really don't know anymore. But, again, I've still got my four-week checkup, and then I guess we'll see engage from there. But that's basically, you can see from the side. But, yeah. Anyway, that's day seven update. So, I just went and had my second, bless you, um, touch-up treatment done yesterday. As you can see, um... It, the whole thing isn't done like it was the first time. It's just the areas that are the worst. So like down here, where it crinkles down here, just a few spots on the sides. Um, I am super swollen right now. Makes my stomach look really swollen and like, <laughs> I don't know, they, they look worse when I'm... Um, when I've just had it done, like this whole pouch of skin is so swollen compared to what my stomach looked like yesterday, which was really lean and flat. So it does take a couple of days for that to go down and really sort of subside. But yeah, that's um, next morning after touch up treatment. So my stomach um, really did have. Is this still filming? Um, so my stomach really did um, get good results from the first one. It definitely like tightened my stomach. It reduced a lot of the fine lines that were there. Um, it made my stomach look a lot tighter, um, but the deeper ones are always gonna be a bit harder to target um, and take a lot longer to sort of get rid of. So I think by the time I have my next proper all over treatment again, it'll be a lot more less noticeable I guess. Um, I definitely did notice like she said it could take 12 weeks and I thought oh, that, I'm sure they all say that but it really does take time for it like I've noticed even on like week five now being week five um, just how much more the stomach has changed and the, the look of it um, but yeah obviously right now today it looks quite bad and swollen and chunky and weird but <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing the results of um, what the plasma pen has done the second time around, really targeting those deeper spots. So yeah, we will see. Excuse me, look, I just got out of the shower, but I just wanted to quickly, um, I am two days post my second, like my touch up treatment. Um, and I just wanted to talk about how amazed I actually am with my stomach. Like I used to, um wear these underwear because they were like they're still like g-string but they used to cover like a lot of my stomach um i was really self-conscious about it and my this top part was like super like you can see if i grab the skin it was like super crinkly um and 
I had my touch up done and you can see like where the touch up dots are but this whole area has flattened out so much and now like the touch ups like my stomach used to have this like hang to it down here which is comp like almost completely gone like the fine lines of my old stretch marks are there but the deeper ones that she touched on the other day have already started to change so much like I'm literally amazed with the what they look like right now um as you can see like and that is literally just two days like I have another four five six weeks left of um you know the other one the first one and then this one which is another 12 weeks left before it really takes full effect I'm literally blown away I did not expect these results my story has changed so much so definitely really really happy so far to everybody I am a hot mess as always I really should put more effort into these videos of what I look like because it's embarrassing <laughs> um, I am I'd say three weeks post my touch-up treatment so nine ten weeks post my very first treatment um, this will be the end of this vlog I um, I'm having my second treatment done in mid to late February, um, my full all over treatment again. Um, I will admit there's been times where I've thought, should I even bother? I don't even know if my stomach looks any different because it really does differ from day to day sometimes being that it is loose skin and if I'm bloated or if I'm not bloated, it kind of changes the appearance a little bit. But overall, um, it really has made a difference and I do recommend it if um, for those mums or anyone who you know wants to have it done a lot of people get it done on their under eyes on their skin here like it's for stretch marks loose skin like it's to change the appearance of those kinds of things so if you're interested in getting it done it is a pricey treatment but I do recommend it if it's something that um, will change how you feel about yourself or your confidence um, I will show you guys my current I really should get rid of this as well okay so we are um, yeah, about, I'd say four or five weeks. So as you can see, massive, again, see this? This is because I've been sitting down and my underwear are on here that it like makes it crease up a bit more. But this is like, like if I literally rub it. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, it has made a pretty substantial difference, um, especially around this area. These, again, were always going to be my biggest problem and they have definitely f like softened I would say as a whole the entire stomach has just had a more of a softened effect um, when I sit down though still crinkles up like that it makes not a lot of difference when it's like creasing um, but definitely oops sorry um, definitely overall it's made a bit of a difference I will show you in this light because I generally do both um, obviously I'm not feeling overly bloated today so I guess that does change the way it looks as well like I'm feeling a bit flatter in my stomach so that's the the way it looks currently um, as you can see it looks more like paper thin now and like has a bit more of a like thin look to it I kind of it kind of to me resembles tissue paper so um, but yeah to be honest I do recommend it. Um, there has been times where I'm like, was that worth it? But I probably do need to have that second treatment before I really make a decision to say like, yeah, that was so worth the eventually $1,200 I've spent. Um, right now I feel like it hasn't really changed my confidence about my stomach because it's still there at the end of the day but it definitely looks better I guess it's tightened it up a bit more it makes my you know stomach look a little bit more like lean when I tense like that so it's helped it's helped definitely um but yeah I do um do want to go and have that second treatment now just to really see what it does because I feel like we're starting off at a different place now and that will probably have a whole lot more of a difference so I will do a part two video on my second experience I've also got my breast augmentation next week which I'm gonna do a whole vlog on too um, so thank you guys so much for watching mums particularly I know um, that a lot of mums have asked me about this treatment and have been interested in this treatment and um, to you guys 
you know, having a baby is the most amazing thing in the world. Um, but at the end of the day, once that baby is grown and you've birthed it and it's living outside in the world, it doesn't make, it doesn't change how you feel about yourself on a day to day basis. No, I do not regret having a child at all or the fact that I look the way I do with my stomach now. But moving forward with my life, I have to feel confident in my body and I have to feel good about myself when I look at myself every day. And some women are confident enough to accept the fact that this is, you know, they birthed a child, they carried a child and this is the outcome. And I think that's really great. And also, you know, if I could feel that confident about it to be that way, then that would be amazing. But I also want, you know, to improve my body and the way I look. And I've lost a lot of weight. And maybe had I not been so big, that would have not happened as much either. So, I don't know. I'm just, this is something that I've chosen to do for myself personally. And I'm not saying that everyone needs to get it done. But I wanted to vlog my experience because I know... A lot of people were interested in it so I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, I'll definitely do part two for my experience um, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching